Let's see if that's your. Um, I'd like to say hello, Dallas. <laughs> I love you, and I'm glad to be back here. It's been a while since you've been down here, maybe seven or eight years. Uh, to K N O N? Yeah. Yeah, it's been K N O N too long. Are those headphones okay? Yep. You want me to turn them up or down? I uh, know this sounds dandy. Okay, well, Sarah Hickman is down here for the uh, 100 year uh, hoot nanny thing going <laughs> down at the Sons of Herman Hall. We're in the 50th day, is that correct, Laura? Halfway we're in the 50th through. day, so we're halfway home for a building and an organization that's 100 years old down there at the Sons of Herman Hall. And Sarah is playing um, 6 o'clock, 6.30, 7 o'clock, something like that, a happy hour. Putin anything down there on the first floor at the internationally famous Sons of Herman Hall tonight. And she's nice enough to come up and share some tunes with us and tell everybody what she's been doing over the last few years. Oh, well, thank you for asking. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I'll just do the last year. The last year I was the official state musician of Texas. And, uh, well, I how, did, how do you get voted musician of Texas? Does um, Casey Monahan come he, over and give yeah. you an award? Or <laughs> no, Casey doesn't have anything to do with it, although I do love Casey Winhan. He's our... Uh, he was appointed by Ann Richards to be the uh, Texas Music Office pre uh, CEO, I guess, whatever. Um, uh, no, what happens is anybody can nominate a musician in Texas and a poet laureate and a 2D and a 3D visual artist. You can nominate all of them at the Tex Texas Commission on the Arts. And then um, they, there's a panel of people that look over all the submissions and then they actually have legislators and members of the Texas Commission on the Arts um, vote on who will be those for the next two years because our legislature is only in session two years so they pick two of every single category for two years. So I was, um, I followed Willie Nelson. He was 2009, 2010, I was 2010, 2011. Yeah, and now Lyle Lovett is the new Texas State Musician followed by Billy Gibbons who will be 2012, wow. 2013. Cool. Well congratulations, that's a very special honor. It was and uh, you know, really, um, it's just an honor that they bestow upon us, and it's a very humbling honor. And uh, I went back, though, and said, may I use this to be proactive? And they were like, what do you mean? I was <laughs> like, well, um, shouldn't I do something with this uh, wonderful award you've given me? And they were like, uh, well, there's no money. And I was like, oh, I don't need any money. It's not about that. I just want to wanna promote the arts in schools. And they're like, go right ahead. So I was very blessed, and uh, I put two projects together. One was called Family Time Rocks, and we are still rocking. We will be at the Wildflower Festival on Sunday uh, playing for kids. And then I put together uh, The Best of Times, which is a 38-track CD with all profits going to Theater Action Project for Central Texas schools. They take theater, art, and music into schools. And um, I asked friends to perform 38 of my songs. So there's Willie Nelson, Marsha Ball, Sean Colvin, Edie Brickell, the New Bohemians got back together, um, Rhett Miller from Old 97s, um, David Garza, Ruthie Foster, I mean the list goes on and on, and uh, the Flatlanders got together. So it's an incredible CD and 100% of it goes to Theater Action Project. Awesome. <laughs> Being proactive. You're a, you're, a, you're a giver. You're not a player. You sleep a lot better at night. Uh, yeah, sure, I do. <laughs> well, that's what we preach during place drive. If, uh, if you're a giver, you sleep a lot better. That's you true. You, you know, if you don't better. give to Canaan, it'll be gone. That's what I would say. Money. Give to Canaan, right. or it'll be gone. Folks, we have Sarah Hickman down here, and she's just, uh, I guess she's handing the baton as State Musician of the Year of the State of Texas, and she's handing off to a lot of it, and she's playing tonight at the Sons of Herman Hall from uh, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, something like that. And then you have a gig tonight at 10, don't at you? At the Wildflower Festival. At the Wildflower mm -hmm. Festival and there in the uh, Richardson. Yes, sir. So that's a, they've, uh, they've done a good deal. They packed the hard day. at that festival. They've got it, got it going on. It's like, a nice festival, and yeah. Al, uh, who puts it together, and Donna, and all the people that work so hard, all the people from Uncle Calvin's that are helping with merch. It's an amazing festival. Yeah, it is. I'm very glad to be there again. Well, okay, let's, uh, let's get a song okay. uh, from you. What are you going to play for us? I think I'll play first a little kind of jazz influence song. Um, I used to listen to a lot of Antonio Carlos Chobim, and um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I, I really love the open major seventh chord, so um, this won't sound like something from South America, but it was heavily influenced by that. And um, this is a song I wrote for my husband called Happy in Your Love. Sarah, yes, could so you move the mic down just a Towards hair. my chest. What's that? <laughs> oh, I see how you guys raise me. <laughs> <laughs> this is professional radio. 
Okay, whatever you say. I want to do it for you. Are, can people still call in and make money? I mean, give you money? Uh, yes, it's 972-647-1893. Okay. If they call, then Lee will take the... Uh, it always helps to turn on the mic. Yeah, I, I That's what happens when you're wearing 972-647-1893 is the number. And uh, if you call in while I'm singing, um, then the next song I will dedicate to you. Thank you. Sarah's, I guess she's, she's loading in and loading out his equipment. 
<laughs> yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. Well, After running in his coffee, shiny shoes. Yeah, it's, Sarah's going to be playing uh, live music from 6 to 9 at the Internationally Famous Sons of Herman Hall. And uh, I, I don't, we can't talk about happy hours, I don't think. But well, they probably have one down there. And uh, this is day 50 of the 100.